This video is on public versus private network. A public network is a network to which anyone can connect. The best example of this network is the internet. Private network is any network to which access is restricted. A corporate network is an example. Hosts on network communicate by using TCP IP, meaning that they must have unique addresses. It's basically a number that defines the logical network that each host belongs to and the host's address on that network. On a private network, it is not a difficult task. But on a network on the scale of internet, however, addressing can get complex. If you want to connect to a system on the internet, you need to have a valid registered IP address. The Internet Assigned Numbers Authority IANA, IANA, is responsible for assigning IP addresses to public networks. However, because of the workload involved, IANA has delegated the assignment process to a number of regional authorities. Internet service providers have large blocks of IP addresses that they can assign to their clients as well. This is more of a common way to get one. If you need a registered IP address, getting one from the internet service provider is almost certainly a simpler process than going through a regional numbers authority. Some ISP plans include blocks of registered IP addresses, working on the principle that businesses want some kind of permanent presence on the internet. However, if you discontinue your service with the ISP, you can no longer use the provided IP address. To provide flexibility in addressing and to prevent incorrectly configured network from polluting the internet, certain address ranges are set aside for private use. These address ranges are called private ranges because they are designated for use only on private networks. These addresses are special because internet routers are configured to ignore any packets that they see using these addresses. This means that if a private network leaks onto the internet, it won't get any further than the first router it encounters. So a private address cannot be on the internet because it cannot be routed to public networks. RFC 1918 Request for Comet was used to create the standards by which networking equipment assigns IP addresses in a private network. It allows a private network to use single public address. The RFC reserves a following ranges of IP addresses that cannot be routed on the internet as shown. One of the basic requirements of the internet is that each host needs to have a unique IP address. However, RFC 1918 removes this requirement. RFC 1918 IP addresses can be used on multiple networks as long as they are private and isolated from each other. To implement this solution, every internet router must be configured to discard IP packets with these addresses. IP packets carrying private addresses can only flow on the internal private networks. Class A addresses are for networks with large number of total hosts. Class B addresses are for medium to large size networks. Class C addresses are used in small local area networks, and Class D are not allocated to hosts and are used for multicasting. Class D is used for multicasting, and Class E is reserved for research purposes. RFC 1918 was a solution to expand usable number of IP addresses to prevent exhaustion of public IPs before the adoption of IPv6. Network Address Translation NAT, and Port Address Translation PAT, are two protocols that can map the unregistered private address of an external network before moving the packet. The primary distinction is that NAT is used to map public IP addresses to private IP addresses in one-to-one -one or many-to-one relationships, while PAT is sort of a NAT in which numerous private IP addresses many-to-one are mapped into a single public IP addresses via ports. Internal network user with a private IP can't connect to internet or external network because each device in the network must have a unique IP address. NAT operates on a router connecting the two networks together and translate internal network private addresses into illegal public addresses. PAD is sort of a dynamic NAT that allows us to configure address translation at a port level while simultaneously optimizing the remaining IP address utilization. PAD maps numerous source local addresses and ports to a single global IP address and ports from a pool of IP addresses which are routable on the destination network. 
They both have pros and cons. NAT protects public addresses that have been registered and slow down the IP address space exhaustion. It removes address renumbering process that occurs when switching networks, reduces occurrence of address overlap, and increases flexibility of the connection establishment. But it does lack end-to-end -end traceability and certain applications are not compatible with NAT. Also, switching path delays are the outcome of translation. PAT on the other hand, conserves IP addresses by assigning single public IP to a group of hosts using different port numbers and lessens the security flaws or security attacks as private addresses prevent public address from being exposed. But an internal table can only have certain entries to keep track of connections, and most cases, same sort of public service can't be run on same IP address. <laughs>